Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Friday, April 8th. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the message for Friday, April 8th. I'm using my Hip Hop Queens Oracle deck. Getting a message for Friday, April 8th, Spirit. What do you have for Collective? All right. Now, if the reading doesn't resonate, please do not try to make it. Okay. For Friday, April 8th, Spirit. What do we have? Friday, April 8th, Spirit. Friday, April 8th. Okay. Yeah. So we get the Bahamadia card knowledge again. Okay. But this time it's actually coming out versus being on the bottom. And attitude, Foxy Brown, on the bottom. Okay, knowledge and attitude. So you know about your attitude. Who knows? <laughs> okay, let's get the message. So knowledge is here with Bahamadia. It's not the worst idea for you to bone up on some skills that may have gotten a little rusty. Educationally speaking, even if you feel like your experiences have taught you so much, seek out new books to feed you more. Going back to school, taking online classes, or learning a new language, these are all good starts. Bahamadia's card reflects a constant quest for knowledge. Even when you feel lost, you'll have the gift of knowledge and be glad you stayed one step ahead in the game. Just know where the ledge is, okay? Like, don't go too far. Okay, let's see. Let's see why knowledge is here for the collective, okay? Knowledge is our overall energy, okay? It's about learning more, okay? Even if you feel like you are very skilled, okay? I, I feel like I am very skilled in my field, and I know I can learn more, okay? Why is knowledge here for the collective, Six of Wands is about achieving something, okay? Ten of Cups, um, ultimate fulfillment, okay? With the Six of Wands here, it's about you achieving your goals, achieving something. It can have something to do with having a balanced partnership, um, a balance in love, uh, you know, being in love, having all of what you want, okay? Um, whatever you need to do in order to um, create that emotional satisfaction and create that the energy of being fulfilled in life, okay? Nine of Cups, having your wishes fulfilled, okay? You might need to learn more, figure out more in order to accomplish that. With the Nine of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles, all right, this is about having a successful new beginning, okay? Um, this is about having your wishes fulfilled, okay? The things that you want and desire. Okay, okay, yeah. Ace of Wands is having that new beginning, that new spark, okay? There's a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity here. It's a wish fulfilled. It's going to bring about some type of achievement for you. You're going to achieve something. Okay? With the Knight of Wands here, you're going to have to take some action, okay? Okay? We have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups, all right? It's leaving behind some type of some type of uh, disappointment, okay? Let, leaving behind some type of disappointment, something that didn't go so well, okay? Something that you might have saw as a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, all right? The Ace of Pentacles is to have that new start, a brand new beginning, okay? A solid one, okay? With the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Nine of Pentacles, yeah, someone is taking action to end a cycle, okay, to end one cycle and go towards what they feel is their ultimate achievement, okay? Taking action to have a new beginning, okay? Because they've, they've been disappointed before and they're walking away from that, okay? This is about learning more, okay? You might have learned, you know, in your experiences, okay, that you can have so much more in life, okay? So this is someone achieving some type of ultimate fulfillment, Okay, having a new beginning, having a new opportunity, all right? So an opportunity is here on the board and someone is ready to take action towards it, 
Mm -hmm. And so they are definitely making a decision here with the Queen of Swords energy to put something to an end, to stop something, to end something, to change, to transform something. Okay. But the Nine of Pentacles here, this is someone that is choosing to be independent. Okay. Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah. This is like someone regretting holding back from something. Like if you were worried and, 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 and held back from taking an action or going towards a new beginning or um, starting something new. Okay, there's someone that regrets that action, okay? And they are making a decision to end something and move forward now, okay? Yeah, All right. Because maybe you gain more knowledge, okay? Maybe you're wiser now. Okay? So with attitude on the bottom, let's read this message. With Foxy Brown, it says, a Foxy Brown card can pack more major attitude in spell, but... That can go in one way, one of two ways. On one end, there's beauty in standing tall. After all, exuding confidence is typically a good thing. However, if your nose is too high in the sky, you may miss what's right in front of you. That and no one likes to be around a conceited person all day, every day. Perhaps it's time to humble yourself a bit. If you're feeling like your opportunities in life and career are proven to be increasingly limited. You'll be good if you can maintain some self-awareness, okay? Um, seeing where you are in your headspace, okay? In your attitude and how you're proceeding on something, all right? Yeah, because I do feel like someone missed an opportunity in the past, okay? Or made a decision that they regret, okay? Or regret not making a decision, okay? Why is attitude here? as the why or the because why is attitude here for the collective okay yep juggling two of pinnacles going back and forth back and forth okay maybe with whether to do something whether to response keeping yourself stuck hanging my energy okay we're going back and forth back and forth okay but with this tower here okay that's the sudden change towers are divinely guided to shake up stagnation okay to create shifts right so Someone was indecisive, okay, juggling back and forth, keeping themselves stuck, okay? Maybe holding back or holding on to a situation, okay? Holding back from what it is that they desire here, four pinnacles and a star, okay? Yeah. With the Knight of Swords energy, mm -hmm. someone is definitely making a decision here with clarity, okay, around commitment, okay, or around the traditional way of doing things. Okay. Attitude. Why is attitude here for the collective? Yeah. Because somebody was definitely holding back from what it is that they desire. Okay. Out of fear, moon energy. Right. Of moving forward. Okay. Maybe even alone with the nine of pentacles. Okay. Someone had a fear of moving forward by themselves. Like, I don't want to be alone. Okay. Yeah. But that's about how you feel about yourself. Yeah. Remember, it can go one of two ways when it comes to attitude. You can either be too confident or not confident enough. Mm -hmm. Let's get your message. For the collective spirit for Friday, April 8th. Okay. Friday, April 8th. Oh, big deal, big deal. You have three cards here. Your life does not get better by change. I'm sorry. Rewind the tape. Here you go. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Let's see. We have this one. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. Okay, that's a myth. Okay, All right, that's a, a Greek mythology. All right. You want a person who comes into your life by accident, 
but stays on purpose, okay? So there's someone who wants some type of partnership, wants some type of um, uh, ultimate fulfillment here with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Bottom of my deck says the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected, okay? This is someone who wants some type of ultimate fulfillment. They might see it in someone. They might see it in a situation, okay? Um, they did not make a decision in the past, but someone is definitely making a decision now. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys are ready. Bye.